Hello Aries and welcome to your November 2022 reading. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first cards that came out is the King of Pentacles and the Pope, but they came out in reverse. So, okay, let's look at that. Those two together would be the summum of engagement, stability, uh, finding solutions, uh, being comfortable in this um, reality and engagement in the sense of, yes, this is how I'm going to commit myself to something using my discernment of the Pope and being constant like the King of Pentacle. So, Every idea around commitment, around uh, engagement, uh, around, and doesn't have to be on a romantic level here, the, our own engagement into our lives, into our happiness, into our fulfillment, into our growth, um, these are all part of uh, what commitment and engagement means. So, then, during the month, I have Temperance, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Sword in reverse. So, just uh, understand that when the card is in reverse, sometimes, yes, it's, it's, it will represent the complete opposite. But usually it's that it's there. It's just being hold for a reason. There's something we need to process. There's something we need to understand in order for it to be there. Um, like with those two uh, reversed, maybe it's to look at the, the part of you that has a hard time committing, that has a hard time uh, being comfortable here, applying in your life what you know uh, uh, spiritually, okay? The Ace of Sword is still reversed. That means that that new way of understanding, uh, that clarity, is still not quite there during the month. You'll have the Ace of Wands, you're a fire sign. So you'll have the will, you'll have the passion for it, you'll have the indication. Uh, but emotionally, it's almost like you're not quite ready to make the decision to have uh, that that's my truth that I see clearly now now it all makes sense okay like and then the last card is the nine of cup and here in reverse so you are going to work on understanding that it is possible to be engaged in one life in one's life committed and be fulfilled emotionally at the same time. It's almost like if uh, this combination of two things are not possible uh, for the ones of you that this is for. It's almost like uh, if I commit, therefore I have to sacrifice my personal happiness and fulfillment. Uh, there's like, it's going to be just, you know, work and... Um, pouring in, but uh, not a, a gauge of happiness. So there's an understand there, an understand understanding there that that is kind of going to come to you. Under the Pope and the King of Pentacle, I have the Six of Sword, and I have the Hangman in reverse. So maybe something that you had a hard time letting go of. Uh, it could be experiences, it could be old um, resentments, it could be uh, old beliefs. Here with the hangman, where maybe you were for a period in a status quo um, time here. Looking at all of this from a different angle kind of gives you the capacity to turn the page. You're still not ready to embark in the next page, but at least 
you're ready to turn the page. Under our Temperance, Ace of Wands and Ace of Sword, we have the Lovers. So here's the decision. And here is the Page of Pentacles. A decision to, um, you know, actually offer or bring in something that would be solid. It's like if, you know, the, all the times maybe in the past where you weren't able to commit and be there and all of that. Now you're ready to let that go and you are ready to make that decision to actually offer something solid or to have something solid offered to you. It is an inner decision that's going to be made, but there's still a bit of emotional work that needs to happen. Okay, we are in Scorpio season. The bottom of the deck for you is uh, the death card. So it's all part of that transformation of going into the deep waters. What is preventing me from just being happy in the next step of my life? Now that I've turned the page in order to live the next uh, season, <laughs> I need to actually embark in it. And so here we have strength and we have the seven of pentacles. So no more um, strength here is going to help you mm, kind of rise above the conditioning you had from your past life experiences that brought you to believe that life is just a series of investments and work and you don't get to be happy and you don't get to live the the fruitful um, joys of uh, actually being uh, committed and, and engaged in a project. Uh, you know, being 100% in your project, 100% in, in your business, in your relationship, in whatever. Okay? So, let's see. Let's clarify this for you, Aries. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Aries for the month of November. 2022, November 2022. Okay. Let's look at that King of Pentacle and Pope in reverse. Something turned, did it? Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, there it is. Okay. I have the Nine of Wands, and I have the Ten of Cups. This is this is being afraid to be happy. Being afraid to open oneself. You know, the Ten of Cups is all about joy and, and happiness and all of that. In order to feel the joy and the happiness from others, from what is around us, from whatever, we need to open up to feel it. And here, this is a card of being wary not sure about what is coming out there. I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to be disappointed. So if I'm like this, I cannot feel the joy and the happiness at, at the level that I could feel it. Okay? So it's almost like 
you weren't able to commit, uh, to engage yourself, because you were at, uh, let's say that your past emotional experience was at its limit, and you would have needed to open yourself to grab an ace of cup at that point. But when we're on the defensive, we cannot receive any new aces or any new opportunities. They can be there, but look how he's looking at it. Needs to have the guts to jump into it. And I think that's what that ace of wands is going to allow you to do. What you weren't able to do, this month you'll be able or you'll be ready emotionally to open yourself to live uh, something that you haven't lived before, but that is linked with stability, engagement, commitment. Let's look at that uh, Ace of Wands, Ace of Sword, and Temperance. So there's a lot of information. Oh, did I see something? Ah, okay. Yeah, the Emperor was in uh, reverse. So, um, it's like if he wasn't able to uh, grab that page of cup, but um, he was passive. An emperor in reverse can be either a huge asshole or just passive instead of being active. But here I think that he was just not able to make the moves um, that would have actually allowed him to experience something that he hasn't uh, experienced before on a higher level. But this month, you're being prepared for it. So let's look at what is temperance working on, spirit? What is temperance working on? Working on Ace of Cups. See? You needed that Ace of Cups. We go through Ten of Cups often in our lives. Okay? And we have the lovers, the lovers, repeat of the lovers. And here is the Ten of uh, Pentacle that was in reverse. We have the card of being able to engage ourselves. Eight of Pentacle, investing ourselves. And here is the Six of uh, Swords. Six of Swords. So... We go through the Ten of Pentacles often in our lives. The Ten of Pentacles, the super ultimate, uh, Ten of Cups, sorry. The ultimate joy and, and shared beautiful conscious emotions when you were 15, when you were 30. They were just richer and richer every time, okay? But every time we hit our ceiling, then we get this Ace of Cups. That means we get this grander capacity to absorb love, uh, to go deeper into it, to um, experiment it on a purer level, more consciously. Before, you weren't able, your masculines here, King of Pentacles, the Emperor and the Pope, these are just like how we are acting in our life one with the let's say the moral principalities discernment and the other one in its ambition it's in its um discernment also like the four kings in his capacity to commit to invest to make the moves to have the courage to do it these aspects were kind of on the hold as long as you weren't able to allow yourself to experiment more temperance this month is working on your capacity to make that decision to say yes i'm gonna invest in my next cycle because anyway my empire is not growing anymore if statu quo remains the same it will not grow anymore it will just slowly decay and implode so, this is crucial. Let's look at the eight of, uh, the nine of cups in reverse. Why is the nine of cups in reverse here? 
Okay. So you're going to meet uh, your challenge. This would be, I am jumping from a standpoint of being fully happy. I have nothing to lose. Nobody can hurt me because I am whole emotionally. Um, but here we have whoa, Saturn's lesson. Karma. The complete opposite of the lover's card. Okay, when you look at those two. They have the same characters. But in this one, your feminine is inspired by higher than you, by higher consciousness, by cosmic intelligence, by the angels, whatever. And here your masculine is looking at your feminine. Your right brain, your left brain is looking at your right brain to be guided into how to act here. But here, since we have a problems with the cups and the pentacles that are not growing anymore, these are two feminine elements. And so it's almost like your wounded feminine wasn't able to give the security or the inner knowing that yes, happiness is there for us. Yes, there's an infinite source of water and you can receive it, Aries. You can grow from it. This month, look at that. Ace of Cup, Ace of Wands. They're there. They're still in the end, the hand of God and in the Aces. You need to grab them. Um, you won't have the clarity completely here in the month of November. But let's say that your insides will be worked in order for you to receive uh, that new vision, that new comprehension on what it means to be committed and engaged, to be able to make that decision, to be able to jump into something that would bring you happiness and not into something where I will, you know, do some chores and help and support and personally I will not get anything. So, because if this was your reference of commitment before, of course nobody wants that. Of course you're going to not be uh, completely there, you know, because it means mm, working, chores. But that's just his illusion. In this one, it's survival. And it's the, the, one of his biggest lies is that you've already experienced everything that you can in this world. And that the rest will only be pale repetitions of what you've already known. Um, and this is a, a lie that if you believe it, it's your prison. It's a huge prison. There is no limit in the level of consciousness, richness, depth of the experiences that you can live. You, even if it's, you know, taking a cup of coffee. You can take a cup of coffee being completely unconscious, tasting it a bit, or having the moment of your life uh, with the same cup of coffee and having a completely different experience. Um, do not believe that, Aries. Okay? Let's look at that Six of uh, Swords. What are you turning the page on? Okay, Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles. You're understanding... Uh, something about balance, um, but still not active here. Look at the hangman. What is that illumination? What is that illumination? Like you're moving away to go towards something that would be balanced. You know, you understand that. But there's still something that is preventing you from actually going for it okay okay 
So, Ten of Swords. Here you are, King of Wands. King of Swords. Ten of Swords is in reverse. We have the Four of Pentacle. We have the Five of Swords. It's like understanding. You understand the price you've paid, maybe for, um, for that, because this is either you doing it or having it as a mirror, being stuck with people that do not commit to you, that are not there a hundred percent with you, but. Anyway, whether you live it as a mirror, it's always going to be a reflection of how you treat yourself. You cannot be really committed outside of you if you're not committed within yourself. How can I be committed in our happiness if I am not committed in mine? Then the hour would become yours and then I would just be uh, somebody working for it and not getting the results of it. There's something around this. Let's look at the lovers here. That's why here the, okay, the Pope, uh, the here we have the magician and here we have um, the eight of pentacles. So uh, we have our our thing here of um, stagnation. There's a lot of stagnation. Something that wasn't moving. That the fear of putting ourselves out there. Of uh, yes. And your Aries, you're full of fire. You're full of pushing. Uh, and going for and taking risks and all of this. But this is addressing a part of you when it came to, um, like I was talking here with the Pope and the, the King of Pentacle and, and you know, Eight of Pentacle. There's, there's something that was like on the fear mode and not really maybe doing it on surface, but not really doing it from from inside so the decision is to actually reverse the Pope I think understand being inspired about what it truly means so that you can stop juggling I'm here I'm not here I'm here and I'm not here um, I'm invested, but not really. I look at the exit. I can leave anytime I want. Uh, to stop juggling so that you can invest yourself. Three of Pentacle. To start building. And here, Six of Cup. With the intelligence of the heart. Receiving. There, there's a beautiful harmony. Six of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Six of Cup. An harmony of the heart chakra, um, a comprehension uh, of what is the beauty of life. Let's look at strength, will of fortune. Of course, you know, it takes strength to turn around our whole vision of what is engagement, engaging ourselves into our lives. And here I have the Ace of Pentacle, uh, like the Wheel of Fortune will turn the Ace of Pentacle, turn that uh, opportunity, all the Aces are there, that opportunity for you to start the next chapter of your life. If you felt like on a status quo for a while, this was why. Page of Wands. Ah, but this time the Nine of Wands is in reverse. That's why you can grab that wand, that you can grab the Ace of Cup, that you can grab the Ace of Pentacle. 
uh, instead of having a wand that is transformed into a shovel, that means my willpower, my fire, my energy is like, whew, wake up in the morning and I'm already tired. But in order to turn all of this, there's going to be a kind of a here is a tower. A tower with the will of fortune. This is one heck of a understanding. That ace of sword that is reversed right now, that temperance is trying to brew for you, that emotionally you are ready to have this understanding, okay? That it's not just a theory, but it hits home. And it's going to hit home. And I'm finishing on uh, death, death. Huge transformation for you, Aries, this month. A huge transformation on how you see life and how you are engaged in life. You'll see a difference with your relationships, with any projects that you know, you had in your life, um, you know, if you started your business, but it was just like going like this, all of a sudden you'll have the understanding of putting your soul in it and receiving joy and happiness and fulfillment from it, that engaging into something, oh my God, am I ready to do this for the next 20 years? Ugh. No, it's going to be like, wow. I'm going to be tripping every day, receiving fulfillment from it every day. And 20 years is going to pass like this. And it's going to be a treasure. There's a switch here happening for you, Aries. Uh, all right. On this, um, I'm going to call this huge transformation because it is. And... I don't think it's going to be completely done at the end of the month. I think it's going to continue within towards December and all. That's fine. Uh, you know, on the way, there's going to be a million beautiful things happening to accompany you through this transformation. So, um, so anyway, thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. If you want a private reading, there's a description below. There's a website that my niece has made where you can go on and book a reading if you want. The schedule is always going to be three weeks in advance like this so that it's not going to be booked for six months and then, you know, that's it. So three weeks is the maximum. Um also, uh, yes, I put in the shop a picture of this, uh, this thing here that I use for the course um, because a lot of you were asking for it. It's free. You can just download it if you want it. Um, and apart from that, namaste. Have a beautiful month of November. And I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.